As a rheumatologist treating chronic autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, one of the biggest challenges in my day is speaking to patients about treatments. And the reason for that is because when I propose a treatment to a patient, they'll frequently ask me, well, what's it going to do to me? My natural response, of course, is, well, I hope it'll make you better. And they say, that's not what I'm looking for. I want to know what type of side effect I'm going to have. Unfortunately, I think really the reason why side effects are foremost in a patient's mind is because of the way that medications are marketed these days. The government actually requires that when a medication is advertised, that there's fair balance. And what they consider fair balance is that you spend as much time talking about a side effect as you do about a good effect. So I would have to say that it's always weighing the pluses and the minuses and there's anything strong enough to help you is strong enough potentially to cause a side effect. But what you have to do is you have to take a medicine that you really have confidence in and then monitor it for any potential side effects and have a great dialogue with your, with your physician, your treating physician, that if you think you're having a side effect, call them up and say, look, should I stop the medicine? In order to get the benefit of rheumatoid arthritis medicines, you have to take it before you have the destruction, before you have the flexion contracture, before you have the disability. You can't wait until you have flexion contracture and disability to start taking the medicine. The bottom line is that if a medicine is available to patients with rheumatoid arthritis, it's been tested for years and found to be reasonably safe and reasonably effective. And so patients have to decide what they're willing to do to make their arthritis better but always realize that not treating arthritis can have dire consequences.